One of the biggest trends that's occurred in music and obviously media, of course, is YouTube. One of the things we've always done as an educational institution is every year we've brought in guest lecturers from all over the industry. And in the past couple of years, one of the trends that we started seeing was students saying, you know, look at these YouTubers, we'd like to talk to people like this. Could somebody like this come into the school? And that's when we started realizing as an educational institution that a lot of these YouTube content creators, these YouTube celebrities, for lack of a better word, they're the new movie stars, they're the new rock stars of the generation that we're dealing with as students. A term that they're being referred to as, especially in the marketing and advertising world, is these are the influencers. Apparently he got the shoes from Back to the Future 2. Yeah. <laughs> Biff Tannen. So we're here today at OERT, which is Ontario Institute of audio recording technology in London, Ontario, Canada. And we are doing a monster YouTube all-star collaboration video. We're coming here for two days to write and record a massive metal jam that we're gonna put on one of our channels. And we're not really sure what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fun. I think it's cool for audiences because yeah, it doesn't happen often. They don't see six YouTubers in a room that they all subscribe to doing something like this, you know? It's, uh, you can almost make a reality TV show out of it. Yeah, can we actually have that? <laughs> oh, da, 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 yeah, yeah. Get, get weird with it. Really, there was no structure. It was just like, come here, and then whatever happens, happens. And I feel like that kind of arrangement is so rare. I'm putting down ideas that we have to include in the song, not necessarily the format. I don't know like how we're actually gonna put it together, but if we can just, like you said, just come up with an idea, record it, we can arrange it in the actual session. So actually then when it comes time to put it together, we can actually have a, a better idea of this. First couple moves was one figuring out that we wanted to write a song together. Originally, we were going to be uh, doing some sort of cover, I think. But um, coming up with a song and actually committing to a song was interesting because one, I very rarely uh, compose and write music with other people, so that was kind of a fun sort of thing. And so we came up with a workflow pretty quickly, which was to write the whole song section by section on a plate and say like everything that we wanted to do, everything that we felt was good about what everybody okay, did. Right after this. Guitar, or like a back, like literally a sh like back and forth like. We could do something. Like yeah, that. just okay. like trading cool. off, like Trade. soloing on different instruments. Yeah. So we, we picked a topic for a song cool. because we were talking about anxiety. We want something that all of us at least can, yeah, you know, relate can to. relate to and get into. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about all, we all suffer from terrible anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so that's terrible that's a thing. Um, so. Thing number two. Uh, <laughs> The keys of G and A work very well for me, so if you're, you know, just pick, pick them at random. So the working title right now is Irrational Insatiable Dread Machine, and that's kind of, that's the line from the chorus, that's the hook. And that's basically what anxiety is. It doesn't make any sense, and it doesn't really go away permanently. You know, just soul-crushing fear, you know, and it's like, I've worked through it, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, like, a lot of these guys are still going through it, so it's like, yeah, I've been there, you know? You just gotta persevere. I always think of, like, every 15 seconds a new texture, if you're if we're thinking along those lines, I think that'd be great. So, like, a new thing, just compositionally, just making sure that there's something, like, and you that grabs a, grabs people. And the, the verses is cool to switch up the drum feel and the bass, but the riff is kind of still yeah. chugging. How are we actually going to be writing this? That's the thing that I... I think we need to just come up with that in here. Okay. All right. I think Sarah should come up with the, uh, the intro. Yeah. Intro? Yeah. All right. Do you want, like, a clean intro or, like, a really yeah, like metal? Super, like, You could do that twice and then go to a different one. That's super prog. We are essentially in the studio right now, piece by piece, putting this song together from scratch. That chord change, so let's play that. That's it. I went into the live room with Steve and Jared and we just jammed riffs, and we were like, that's a verse, that's a chorus, that's a bridge. Yeah, 
something that speeds up and then like and then going back and then going back. I think sometimes people get so set in the way that they do things, and as musicians, you never stop learning, you never stop growing, and throwing yourself into these different situations just opens your mind to how you can evolve as a musician or an engineer, whatever it may be. All right, I think we have so, a pretty good feel. Yeah. I say we just start with this okay. and see where we go. Sarah that's, that's was in charge of the intro dreamscape sound. Five eight at three hundred and seventy four beats per minute. What happens? There you go. Which is which? Jeez. Which is the name of the song? Way to go, Sarah! <laughs> Trying to write a simple goddamn song. And then there was gonna be some riffing into that, riffing into that, and it's gonna swell into like. Right, right. so oh, that's, that's what we that, were gonna that's do. the connective tissue that gets us Those into the Those two sugar. chords that just yeah. hold out Changes the ears. and go into the yeah. ears. Yeah. Well, the intro's not even really long, though. handling like bass and he's he's kind of directing things he's very like on top of that so it's nice to have someone who's really together um holding that tyler is like that too so both of them were sort of helping direct in the beginning yeah so that means we need some chords for a verse and some chords for a chorus so maybe uh a couple of you guys can just go in there and like just start jamming yeah he was doing guitar stuff, and CBT is doing guitar stuff right now. Um, Jared was tracking drums, and he's doing a guitar solo, and I'm doing a guitar solo, and so we're all just kind of trading off. How's that work for you guys? Yeah, yeah, because that'll be the hit then there, right? Yeah. So Sig is friggin' awesome. He always pushes you to do more and yeah. He's always like, I think you could do a little better. And it's like, you know what, maybe I can. But it's nice to have him there to direct you. There's pros and cons to directing yourself. Yeah, just to have someone there kind of pushing you what to do, it, it, I, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. So now, <laughs> you guys go work out the chorus and just drop it right, yep. right there. First time, we just go through one yeah. complete cycle of that. And then whenever the next time it happens, twice. And then the last time, we do a little acoustic guy. Right. And then into the heavy version. Listen for a sec, guys. This intro point at me when you think the drums should actually come in with the song. Sure. Actually, oh, yeah. I hear it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to get like. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy with it. I just want to make it work for them. Tap to download. Don't mind if I do. We got a demo. I have to take this home and listen to it and learn all my parts. They're all great musicians. I'm more of a technician, so to speak. So it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, they're all, you know, doing their gents and their wheedly dees on the on the guitars and whatnot. And I'm more worried about, you know, how's the snare sound, that kind of shit, and like tuning drums and placing mics and all that kind of crap. You know, just kind of doing the solid engineering end of, end of things. And it's like, I'm like, you know what? They're good songwriters. I'm gonna stay the fuck out of their way. It's pretty fucking tight, but that should work. Okay, we got lucky there. I thought that was gonna suck. Four. This is four. For him. Yep. Okay. And then 19 and 20. We're about three quarters of the way through, I think. 
and we did all the song skeleton yesterday with basic tracks which is basically unusable tracks that we just put as a placeholder and then today we're making those glittery and shiny and golden Do you think we should probably do that? <laughs> Standard gen. I think that's a new level of hatred for myself. <laughs> the whole experience, I think just coming together yeah. and having a place to do this and having open-minded people to work with, not just the YouTubers, but the staff here, you know, like very accommodating. Like it's been such a great experience. So I'm warming up my voice because apparently I'm going to be singing this song. Wrote all the lyrics yesterday and most of them last night. Yesterday I literally wrote four lines and then a bunch of garbage. Um, but that, you know, that's, that's writing a song on the fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm trying to remember <laughs> the exercises. Causeless palpitations in my, causeless palpitations in my vision blackening. That's awesome, man. Again. That's nicer, I think. Yeah? Okay. Can you try one more like that? Yep. Looking back on what we've accomplished in the last 48 hours, we've managed to take a group of people, seven are very talented musicians, very talented yep. content creators. Okay, cool. For the first time ever, we've put them all in the same place at the same time. Now it's at the point where a talented individual with a small set of technology and the right know-how, the right understanding, can really create some amazing content that people really want to hear. Oh, oh yeah, no, no. Loudest people should be near the back. The soft yeah, ones should be near the front. Pretty loud. Pretty loud. I want my life back! I want my voice back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good to you. I will see you. Bye. <laughs> Is everyone looking at this? Is it getting a lot of likes? Yeah, Wait, everyone in the live stream, smile because you're on camera. There it is. Smile right now. Send a lot of those likes. Come on.